Hi YouTube, Edward Tindall here and Sarah Tindall. And tonight we are transferring you gotta go up over the top of where they can see on here. Transferring B Vegans. Because they're outgrew their enclosure and nobody wants to buy them. Which is extremely sad. Seeing the fact that these are not just any average normal bee vegans, these are very special. You see how readily they take food? These are true form uh, with untainted blood. Most of the bee vegans you'll get in the hobby have tainted blood of some sort. Like I said, these do not. We down, what are we down to? Um, I don't know what we're down to right now. Another bee vegans. I like to transfer them when they're about that size. Very friendly spiders. All of them have their different personalities, but they're very friendly, and I like to feed them as soon as I transfer them because it, uh, a spider was something that's not to the happy spider. I can't stress that enough. It makes them feel right at home and easier to accept their new home. If they eat, that one must have got stressed out too much to be able to take the food though. For some reason. Very well. I think that too, but look what it looks like. It don't look like it's in pre malt, but was there a malt in the container with it? I don't see one. I don't know, sir. Might be right. We're gonna take this out of here. It don't really look like it's in pre malt, but there's something going on. So, oh, never mind. There's nothing going on. Yep, she was just a little bit stressed out, so. <laughs> there you go. But if you're ever in doubt and they don't eat it, it is best to take it out because if they are in pre mulch, you can lose you can lose a cranch look. That lid is off. And make sure you always snap your lids or you won't have a vegans. Get another one. That one's hair and Sarah. <laughs> a cute little thing. Uh, yeah, they are New World, they little hair kickers. Not as bad as some New Worlds, though. I gotta say. Oh, oh, oh! Why nobody would want to buy any of these is beyond me. With a $25 price tag. It seems uh, irresistible. Come on, fast. Don't mess that up, Kim. Oh, I know. You gotta keep it down until it gets off of there. Yeah. Is that right, you get them? Never mind, there it is. They gotta be hungry. V vegans are always hungry. And that one's gonna be. Uh, be picky because of whatever problem. It's not in pre mold I know. I'm, I'm I said it just molted. Yeah, it's not just. Like, not just now, right? I mean, well, it's so. It's hard enough that the roach is not going to eat it. We'll just watch it for a little while and we'll take out that roach after we get done filming if it does not eat it. Here's another one. This is what I call Houdini, this one. <laughs> well, you better put the lid on Houdini pretty tight. No, the reason why I say Houdini, he likes to get out and walk around his cage. Yeah, Houdini is famous for escaping everything. He's still, this, did this one just molt? Fast again. 
going to leave this right here for that little key. <coughs> Damn it, just in case. Give it another BB. We have a simple uh, coconut substrate. <coughs> coconut fiber. These fibers prefer to be on dry substrate with a prefer to be on dry substrate with a look at the color of this one. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Dry substrate with a water bowl, which you're going to get here shortly. Well, 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 we'll see what happens when you, uh, you lift it up too fast. When you're transferring a tarantula, that they need to walk off of one surface onto another surface. They don't want to step off onto the air. It'd be like you trying to climb off of a roof onto a ladder. If anybody has ever done that before and you, your foot just can't touch the bottom, you would not want to experience that neither do they. You don't just step off into the air. Okay, um this roach is gonna muscle his way into death here shortly I imagine. And that bee vegans webbed a, a bit. I love it when they shoot web. That's a very tight fitting lid. I hooked us the lid for that. Um There. Oh, these over here. These these got already. Are these the big ones? Yeah, they're already got in. This one's got adult coloration. Check this out. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Look at this. Very black spiders with very red abdomens. You don't. Uh, not all biggins are created equally. I guarantee you these are absolutely amazing specimens. Um, I'm going to leave that in there with this one. I'm liable to bust it wide open here in a minute. Yep, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Edward Dundle knows tarantulas. More importantly, tarantula's nose, Edward Tilly. Yeah, we get to start getting the biggest ones to grow all over, uh, almost out of containers. What I'm doing right now. Yeah, see, when the tarantula gets to this side, they can do one more molt, but you're pushing it because if they do molt and they get stuck in their enclosure because they don't have enough room, they will get stuck in molt and die. And that is a tragedy, especially if you raise them so long cared for them and nurtured them and loved them. Whoa, whoa, no need to panic. Don't get your spider panties in a wad. I probably say spider web. Don't get your spider web in a wad. <laughs> Transfers are going pretty smooth. I would say I hope y'all are all having a wonderful time, day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I hope that y'all are finding some type of enjoyment out of this video. And I hope y'all hit that like button and ring the bell if you like this video, so you get notified when I put out new videos. Because with takedowns like that, you got to admit these videos are off the freaking chain. Although this is Edward Tindall YouTube, I am not the star of the show. These little vegans are the star tonight. And they deserve some love. Yes, they do. Look at that wonderful little thing. Wonderful little thing. I know there's quite a few spider haters out there that have recently turned into spider lovers. Look at this. Here we go. We got two spiders in here. <laughs> uh, we got one spider and one molt. 
is awesome. Freshly molted. I don't like transferring them when they're freshly molted like this, but we're going to. In this case, he'll be absolutely fine. We're just not going to put enough food in there with him or her, whatever it may be. You see the difference in the coloration? This is the stage you do not want to feed a tarantula at because your feeder will eat the tarantula. And that's not no good. What are the ones that you had over here? Or did you already move? We already transferred. Oh, okay. Um, I need more. Okay. We need more. We don't have enough spiders. We raised these all from eggs and babies. Baby babies. Roots. Uh, one more damage this roots is heart, so it'll be uh, heart and brain. Not necessarily, necessarily the best thing. I don't like doing that to any animal. Well, I know uh, that small town exotics got two of them. Yeah, and then from who's that other guy? That's sorry, it's all the time. Crazy J is uh Python J Bowl. Because Crazy J is a Python guy. A reticulated Python guy. Some prehistoric this. So J is balls, he's the one who got it right. Mm -hmm. um, yep. What kind of spider is thinking about this? Uh, do I want to bite this guy or <laughs> what do I want to do? Is that spicy? That? <laughs> huh? That's spicy. Yeah, yeah. He's, doing, he's putting his fangs on my uh, fingernail to see if there was something to eat or not. No, he will try. Yeah. Yeah, they all got their own personalities. Yep, now he knows that's something to eat, so that's what, exactly what he's going to do. It's good to take the stress off of your spiders, I'll say again, when you transfer them them the food because they will go ahead and eat that meal and feel comfortable in their new home and not be so stressed out about their old ones. See this one's been in this home for a long time and it's got a custom to this home. It's got a path all the way around it where it's ran laps around and around and around and pushed all that stuff up. So now it's going to have to start its whole life over in here. And the best way to say hey this is a new good home for you is let them know that there's a re readily available food supply you know what I mean? There's a food supply, so you're not going to go hungry. You will not go hungry. And I'm almost out of jars. Is this the next biggest one or what? Are you sure? I heard a bigger one here. Another big one. This one's molted sometime or another. Putting it in there. Yeah. Look how beautiful that spider is, people. Absolutely amazing. Whoa, get in there. That's your home. That's your home. I'm trying to get you food. Trying to get you food. The spider will go out of here. Unfortunately. It's escaped. I'm getting it. Some of them don't want to take to their new home. 
No, that but one they likes will. to be held. But they will. Has never shown any aggression. No. My grumpy has. There's a couple of them that do, but not many vegans. They're, uh, in my opinion, they're pretty, all pretty, fairly nice. All right, so we have how many did we transfer? We got all these transferred. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, we have eighteen of them transferred, and these are all the ones that we haven't yet. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of them. Seventeen of them, right? How many did we transfer? How many did we transfer? Over here, baby. How many did we transfer? Eighteen. Eighteen? Is that what you said for, for I thought you said a different number. One, two, three. Alright, count them, wipe out these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Alright, seventeen we transferred. We have five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have eighteen here. I need transferred, so I could possibly give them a good home. Let me know in the comments below. DM me on Facebook. They're still 25, which is a good price. They should be double that price at this size, and the fact that they are true form. So, um, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. You guys don't like, hurry subscribe, up and get tell your friends. We're gonna, we're gonna keep them all. Hey, my shutter is closing on the camera. The show must go on. The show must go on. I'm powerhousing these guys. If you don't hurry up and get them. I'm <laughs> powerhousing. Yeah. Powerhousing. I'm gonna have to feed them. Yep. But they're gonna grow more. Yep. All right, people. We're out of here. For all your roach uh, needs, check out AaronPauling.com. Buying a coffee, he works you up. Tindall, Sarah Tindall, and Aaron Pauling Roaches. Hello. Tindall. Brecky Palmer Vegans Tindall, out.